in a spare truck today. Got an email that my truck would be going up 4 p.m. today. So, let's see what this tractor looking like. At least it's not an old tractor. I could work with this one. Yeah, I could work with this one. Shout out to my co-workers. They put my stuff in the tractor. I asked them if they can take some of my stuff out of my tractor that I needed and put in this one, like my fifth wheel pin puller. I told them to grab my hammer out and I told them to grab my paper towels out. I didn't know this tractor was already gonna have paper towels, but you know, I need my things, man. So. Let me get ready to grab my hand trucks. And I'll tap back in with you guys in a minute, man. Y'all keep it locked. All right, we made it to the first stop. So, I'm gonna have to move this pallet out of the way first. Well, got a box that's crushed right there. That's not good. Wasn't a good idea to put this at the bottom of this heavy stuff. Take these pallets off to get to the freezer, man. We slide. Man, that's a problem. I don't know. 
may be able to slide. We to, might have to move some of these low bars out the way. That one kind of close. Yeah. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see what this freezer look like. Ah. All right, so let's try to get this out of here. At least they got these uh, lower bars on the right side this side sometimes the warehouse they'll put the side where you have to pull the latch they'll put this on that side so what happens is then you have to figure out how can you get behind this pallet to pull this little rope to get it loose because sometimes you can't just pull it like this with your hand because it's just a little bit too hard and that's another reason why i keep my hammer in my truck because sometimes i've had to grab my hammer and get down there just to get this out but today they got it on the right side thank god so we gotta move this, move this out the way so we can grab and then get this pallet out of here Should we good? I already know those are good. Just in case some of you guys don't know how this works. So we put the lower bar back up. We done with the freezer. I pulled out my freezer pallet for my next stop so I don't have to go back in here until my third stop. So we good on that. I'm gonna put this back up. And we're gonna put a low bar in front of that door as well. We'll use this one. All right, now we just gotta put the pallets back in and we're heading down the road. Keep it locked, guys. So 
fine. They pulled their straight truck out, so it's not taking up a dock today. Normally, you see this straight truck right here, this belongs to this customer, and sometimes they'll keep that on the lower dock. I don't know why, maybe it's loaded, maybe, you know, they can't lock the back door, who knows why, but we good. All docks are empty right now, so that's a good thing. But yeah, sometimes they'll keep that um, right there, man. And it just takes up space in the dock. Look like we gonna nail this one on the first truck. Every now and then, you know, we gotta do a couple pull-ups, but today we got it right in. I'm gonna have to pull up to open the doors up, but other than that, we got it in here, man. second stop out they get 171 cases shouldn't take too long and we'll get on down the road yo y'all know i'm a hat guy man but lately i haven't even been wearing my hat man i've been wearing my headband that i work out in just for the simple fact that it's so hot out here man that hat my head be steaming underneath that hat so when i get in the trailer the first thing I do, oh, I'm sorry, when I get back into the tractor, when I get done with my stop, the first thing I do is come out my hat, man. You can see the steam on the top of my head. So this headband just helps my head just breathe <laughs> and it's not so hot underneath. I just wear the headband just to keep the sweat from just, you know, getting in my eyes and running down my face. So, but uh, yeah, and I'm loving it. My head is a lot cooler now. And that's the great part about having these units inside this reefer this time of year being inside this trailer feels like heaven <laughs> i love being inside of here this time of year man because it's so hot to just get back in in this cool air you gotta love it man let's go ahead and knock this stop out man y'all keep it locked So real quick, I've been having several people ask me, where do I get this dolly from with the brakes? I'll leave that in the description. It's called Magco, M-A-G-C-O-A.com, Magco.com. That's where you can find this. I'm sure there are other places that sell them. I'm just gonna move this in right here. And I'm gonna wait till I bring some more product down to add on to this one. Y'all keep it locked. So when it comes to the hand truck, you know, a lot of guys, they don't like the dollies with the brakes. They'll come down the ramp 
and just kind of rub the tires up against the ramp coming down. That'll slow them down a little bit. Um, you know, to each his own. You guys, you know, figure out what works best for you. I'm not promoting doing that, doing it that way on my channel. Um, I don't think that's the safest way to do it. I still think coming down just the regular way and not putting as much product on your truck on your hand truck is safer than doing that but that's just my personal opinion i know a lot of guys not going to agree with that but hey do it your way whatever works for you man
never pay attention to what's coming. Some of them do, some of them stop, but they can see the, the through traffic that's coming, but like that Jeep that just came, he didn't even look, so he just flew right out in front of me. So yeah. it's just important, man, to really always be paying attention to things that's, you know, not even in your, or close to your sight. You gotta pay attention to every angle, all your surrounding areas when you're driving because a lot of people just, you know, don't pay attention. So you gotta pay attention. say 151 cases we're gonna go ahead and get it done oh I gotta charge up my GoPro so I think I'll do that while I'm working this stop and then I'll tap back in with you guys a little later man definitely keep it locked we're gonna stop at a loves and uh, fuel up after this stop so stay tuned guys shout out to each and every one of you out there man this is my first week back on vacation and i'm gonna be honest um i really just been relaxing man that's why i haven't been uploading long form videos like this i've been uploading some shorts here and there you know the little videos that's 60 seconds or less but for the most part this is my first video this week long form because I just really just been relaxing, man. And it's been great. It's been great to just, sometimes you just gotta step away for a minute. I've been like consistently uploading content for a while now, you know what I mean? Like two to three videos a week sometimes. And this week right here, I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna, take a step back and just chill even on my vacation you guys know i uh, i was working <laughs> creating content uploading a couple videos but it's been really nice to just chill you know what i'm saying and uh because creating content man you know it's it's time consuming it's it's work it's a job within itself at least in my opinion shout out to my guy who emailed me yesterday man you know who you are bro you've been hitting me up you know for a little advice and all that with your channel you're doing good keep it up bro like i tell you just stay consistent put out good content and the people will support your channel i know you're gonna watch this video reach out to me man you already know you got my email you got my contact so whenever you have questions bro you already know i'm here for you and that's what it's all about man you know any way i can have uh you know a positive impact on people or a person that's what i'm here for man so i'm gonna get ready to knock this stop out guys i'll tap back in a little bit
drive over here in the truck. Got his shirt off. <laughs> hey. Shout out to all the truck drivers, man. That's OTR guys and you guys got to pretty much live out of your truck, man. I salute all y'all, man. That's tough. That's tough. Take a shower at the truck stops. You walk in love, they say, your shower is ready. Man. I couldn't do it, but I salute y'all. So I don't know how long we gonna be here, man. I'll catch up with you guys once we get moving. Cause I don't know what's going on down here. Alright, we back moving, man. I don't know what the hold up was. In that lost parking lot, but I ended up backing up and going back through the pumps to get out. And some other drivers start following me. Start following me too. Right, gang so we made it to the hotel done for the day it is hot out here man y'all stay hydrated out there drink your water get your antioxidants in with your sports drinks it's a lot of sugar in them sports drinks but however you can get your antioxidants in 
eat some fruit but stay hydrated because it is hot it's probably about 90 degrees right now over here i know it's hot in texas i had some facebook friends post temperatures in texas it was like over 100 degrees one day so i know they they heating up out there so i know them guys feeling it too um uh, but yeah guys we had a pretty good day overall uh shout out to everybody out there man you guys stay safe keep supporting the channel i appreciate all the love and continued support until the next video i'll catch you guys on the next one man y'all take care Peace.